Alrighty. So this is our what third? Yeah. Third car. Yeah, third car analysis. And so this week we got um, two questions. Um, one about Great Chicago Fire, and then your other question, Zach, yeah. that you, you said you had. Yeah. Um, do Do you want to go first, or should we do oh, Great no. Chicago Fire first? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then, um, our first question about Great Chicago Fire. In the tournaments, I've been seeing a lot of uh, like issues. Not necessarily the issue. I've been hearing a lot of arguments over this card. Mm -hmm. Some players have used cars to counter it or try to do some do stuff to resist to resist it or anything. So um, this is why I'm bringing it up. So first off, great. Uh, oh, do you want to pull up that digital? Did, did, did you pull up that? Yeah. Screen? Okay. Yeah. It'll just be easier than reading it off here. Yeah. There it is. So yeah, Great Chicago Fire, you choose an opponent's land. That land loses all characters in any army card. This is half their strength. No card may reverse, stop, or cancel this card. So right off the bat, it can't be reversed. So stuff like Emmy No Ether or um, uh, like US Senate, um, those things cannot reverse this. Yeah. Stop, that's okay. kind of similar to like um, Operation Pastoris um a couple other stop cards i can't remember off the top of my head um and then cancel i put i put that in because i'm the maker of this card i put that in just because some cards say stop the effects of an opponent's card or some say cancel the effects of the opponent's card so i was worried that there would be loopholes that players could use to say oh this thing says it can't be stopped but can it be canceled mm -hmm. so I put those two words in there specifically for that purpose. Um, so for, first off, the first card I um, I want to bring up, mention in its relationship to Great Chicago Fire is Harriet Tubman. Okay. So Harriet, Harriet Tubman is one of the three blacklisted cards in the online historical tournaments for good reason. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read it out loud here. Uh, interrupt. There is peace in your civilization, and no opponent may play any card against you or attack your land for one round. So, my my take on this, and I, I've told you Zach this before. Um, if Great Chicago Fire is played, this is the card, card number one. Is Great Chicago Fire is played? Player B. Uh, yeah, th th yeah. There's Harriet Tubman. Um, player B plays Harriet Tubman in response to it, mm -hmm. um, Great Chicago Fire still goes through and Harriet Tubman cannot stop it. However, if Harriet Tubman is played first and then on a later turn, Great Chicago Fire is played, Great Chicago Fire cannot affect. So it depends on which one is first played yes. and then that, yeah, it will, it'll affect, it'll affect that. So then, so that's, that's Harriet Tubman card. So mm -hmm. I wanted to get that, get that settled. Yeah. So, um, do you have do you have yeah, any comments on that? So everyone knows, like last night, I had uh, Josh, the uh, history hat man, come over with his family, and we had dinner. He was actually on a um, on a tour of conventions, and on his way back, he I think his last one was uh, Albuquerque, but also included Denver, Virginia, which he flew out to, and Idaho. And uh, mm -hmm. so we actually had a lot of this discussion last night. Uh, not knowing that we were going to talk. Well, I guess you had warned me, but I totally forgot about it because when we were playing. So my son played the Great Chicago Fire. And it says no reverse, no cancel, no stop. And my, I wasn't paying enough attention. My son read the first part of that card on somebody else. And somebody else reversed it on him. But he didn't read the part, oh, we can't reverse it. And at the end of the game, he lost the game because he didn't read all of the abilities so first yeah. off that's a really important part when you're playing yeah, yeah. any one of these cards you want to read the whole ability because a lot of times there's something at the end that's some sort of what was called a caveat or some way of saving yourself from um something so he wouldn't it would have reversed on him and then he would have lost his biggest army and biggest um well not army but his biggest land of, of people and uh so that's a, a big thing Harriet Tubman, though, uh, I'm trying to remember if it was Harriet Tubman or one other one. I think it's Harriet Tubman was in play when somebody took that uh, event and um, used it on somebody else. So they took it from 
uh, someone was playing the Great Chicago Fire. Mm -hmm. I think they were able to duplicate. Actually, I think it was my card. They were able to duplicate the card and okay. use it. Um, and they used it on somebody else, but come to find out that person had Harriet Tubman. But like you said, because Harriet Tubman was already in play, mm -hmm. you would have to interrupt Harriet Tubman, but Harriet Tubman's are again already on play for that turn. And because that is set in stone, you cannot do anything, mm -hmm. nothing can happen. Then the Great Chicago Fire was basically wasted. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's Harry, that's the Harry Tubman shenanigans. The second one I have seen, I have I've only seen this once or twice, but I do want to address this is Nikola Tesla. Mm -hmm. Um this uh I don't have the card on me. Um we're gonna okay. No, here's the question, which one? That's uh, the, the one, I don't know whether this 1.0 or 2.0, the one that reverses an event card or whatever. Um, I know, I know, I know my, I know my sibling has it, but I don't. Ah, yes, I've got it right here. Let me share screen this one. So interrupt any time yeah, that one. Your event card is automatically reversed against its owner. No interrupts may stop this action. Mm -hmm. So because this is an interrupt, again, it's the lineup of play whichever mm -hmm. one was played first um, is the ultimate winner in this in this scenario because it says no card can be played against it yeah that's because of that so, oh, go ahead. so yeah so yeah but i i've seen I, i've seen i've seen a play that people um people say that because nicola testa is more of like a souped up stop uh or like, like a souped up interrupt reverse card it could bypass Great Chicago Fire because it says no interrupted card may can reverse this action. Um, plus, well, it's an interrupt, so it, it, it's it's um, it's a very powerful card that I don't have sadly. Um, but Great Chicago, Great Chicago Fire doesn't really leave any room for Nikola Tesla because it says no card may reverse stop or cancel this card, and because it's the first card played in our in the two duel in the duel here. Great Chicago Fire would overrule Tesla. And however, very specific. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. However, um, this actually just occurred to me. What if, and this is where we can talk about this. What if Tesla, because Tesla's a hold, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that that Tesla. So what if it's already in play? And then, um, and then with when Great Chicago Fire is played, um, Tesla is used. See, that's a really good question. I wish someone yeah. used it as a stump to creator. Because I'd be hem hawing a, a lot back in the <laughs> You missed your chance, everybody. Yeah. So this one, you could say, okay, any, uh, so let's reread again. Any technology or event card is automatically reversed against its owner. So that's the straightforward um, ability. The caveat in this one says no interrupt may stop this action. So let's go back to the Great Chicago Fire. What's the Tesla say? Do you remember? Uh, yeah. No interrupt uh, it, may yeah, stop. Yeah, no interrupt action. may stop this action. So, so. It, but Great Chicago Fire is not an interrupt. Great Chicago is not an interrupt, and the ability right there is not part of an interrupt. Mm -hmm. So, if you really want to get down to the English point of it, then it would have to be something that's an interrupt mm -hmm. that can't stop it. Yeah. So, because so, it's an interrupt. Technically, it doesn't apply. Tesla does not apply to this one. All right. So yeah, Tes so yeah, Great Chicago Fire burns through Tesla. Um, At the same time, if you did have Caesar Rodney, where you could win an yeah, argument, so, yeah, you might yeah, be so, able to argue that. And yeah. Win. So I, I I have that card, and, I, and it has come in handy a few times. So that that is another. Um, that is a that is a different. That's that's another. That's a that's a rabbit hole, by yes. itself. Yes. Um, but Susan and Rodney applied here. Yeah, you could potentially argue that. Um, what, what was it like? Yeah, Nikola Tesla could stop this because it wasn't played technically in the interrupt battle. It was just already in play, mm -hmm. similar to the Harriet Tubman um, relationship with Great Chicago Fire. I I could see an argument for that, but I don't know. I haven't seen Susan Rodney too much in the tournaments lately. So speaking of uh, rabbit holes, have you ever seen the movie Ten Commandments? I have not. Okay, the old version with um, oh, and I can't think of his name. Uh, but there's an old version, 
where one of the key phrases from Pharaoh is, let it be written, let it be done. So mm. as the as the creator that has, sometimes we have to tell how things work. So especially at virtual tournaments, we, we know exactly how to rule in the, in the future. Um, in this scenario, if Tesla is in play, it does not, because Great Chicago Fire is not interrupt, it does not uh, apply. And so my catchphrase is, let it be written, let it be done, done deal. Okay. <laughs> but so yeah, those are the two, those are the two cards that I wanted to address. Um, and then just off, off the top of your head, Zach, do you know any cards that might have a similar to the Tesla and Tubman might have a similar ship to Great Chicago Fire? Like just well, off the top of your head, do you know? Actually, we do. So I think I just mentioned it. Let me go back in the database of cards and i'm going to bring up let's see i should find out which one's mine okay oh i just thought of one actually just off the top of my head uh fernand magellan he says uh i'm gonna quote it from memory here so correct me if i'm wrong but like while he's in like no event cards or like character or something else cards can delay magellan uh -huh. And yeah, um, so I, 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 as a judge, I even I don't really know what's the wording on that because does that mean no uh, event cards can stop him from discovering the land? Yeah, so like, yeah. In the new version, oh. it's more specific. It says no event card can hurt him or destroy the land he is in. Okay, so how would Great Chicago, so yeah, my take on that, so if Great Chicago was, fire was played on his land, mm -hmm. um, yeah, how would, how would that, how would that be resolved? So going back to the Great uh, Chicago fire, choose an opponent's land, that land loses all characters, and any army loses half their strength. Okay, so then you go back to Fernand Magellan, can you see both these? Is it work showing up? Yeah, I, I, I can see it. Um, so in this, then it says, uh, let's see, no event card can hurt him. Okay. And cannot destroy the land he is in. So, okay, so again, that, la that last part of that second ability sounds more like a defense against something like Chernobyl. Exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, it, and Great Chicago Fire de doesn't destroy the land. Mm -hmm. So I would say, yeah, that second part of that second ability doesn't apply to Great Chicago Fire. So in so that... We yeah, so yeah. in that land, if there's an army, you don't lose the army because it only loses half its strength. And if Ferdinand and Magellan's there, he still stays there, mm -hmm. even if everything else he, burns to the ground. Yeah, no event card can hurt him. Yeah, I mean, technically, he was in a ship while the place was burning, so everything else burned down except for him. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was, that was, that was one that I just remembered, so that, that, that was probably important to... Well, here's another one that's interesting. Oh, Helping well, out this one's, this one's not allowed. Start attacking them. Yeah, so this is not allowed in the online tournaments. So I'm yes. not too concerned about this. Yep. But if you want to address this, then go ahead. So just if you're playing at home and um, you pick up a Zach Edwards card and it says, help an ally by canceling a card attacking them. Well, you can't cancel it. Okay? <laughs> you cannot cancel it. Okay. But it also says, or double the effects of any card for your benefit. So if you have it, if you own the Great Chicago Fire, you can double the Great Chicago Fire. Ooh. So that's just another one. This one actually came up in the fight because we allowed all business cards and all cards oh. except for Charles Babbage, which I don't think I, at the tournament or at the uh, dinner had. So okay. that's Mine. another reason why I'm glad your card is banned from the online tournaments because I know some players will take advantage of doubling Great Chicago Fire. And yeah, I purposely cool. did. I purposely did not make it an interrupt. Because I didn't want it to be so overpowered uh -huh. that it become another Mount Vesuvius. And yep. well, and then also with Zach Edwards not being able to be played, uh, if I doubled my card's ability, then you have four times the Great Chicago Fire, which you can basically wipe out the, anybody. Yeah, and then that, that's the max for modifying a card, like we agreed. It's four times. Exactly. So still four great Chicago fires is just full. That's intimidating um but yeah that so that's the great chicago fire one do you have any other cards that not, you not cards I, no. I got my question though oh okay go ahead okay so a lot of people like to say hey 
the youngest player starting, because in the rules it says that the youngest player is always the first person to start. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't like that because it always goes back to, especially in a family, it's always that one person that gets to start every single time. And people get by, annoyed by it. So Josh, the history hat man, actually came up with a, a great way of doing it for him and his kids. And he says, whoever has the, and every time it's different, the most northern country. So you pull the first country to play, uh, say I have uh, somewhere in South America and you have somewhere in Asia. And if we said the most northern country gets to play first, whoever picks the most northern country, then you have to pick up an atlas and see if which one is actually the most northern. That is amazing. Yeah. Or you could say <laughs> the most southern country because now okay. we actually have Antarctica. Oh, that's true. You have yeah. Antarctica. So that, that might be an automatic win. Yeah. So you, can, you can always do something <laughs> like, like totally out there. Uh, the first person that uh, you pr- play the first four rounds and the first person that pulls someone with a hat. I mean, you could change it up to, uh, totally for whatever reason, but it's really great when you're learning your geography to, to give something in there. First one that brings out a South Pacific land or not South Pacific, then South America or some continent in the South. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I think um, that will be a welcome re- change because yeah. I too, I, 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 I am in a family with th- two other siblings. So we play throw conquest and yeah it's always my youngest brother <laughs> and it can't be a bit like boring and irritating so i'm glad like in the i'm glad this we're, we're instituting like, a new thing we can do here and yeah. which is it's brilliant it's brilliant i 100 percent agree um, so uh, josh he just said it yeah. you're brilliant there you go <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 okay that's still on back yeah and um i i yeah the the strategy I've been doing in the tournament, because almost no one wants to do age anymore for probably that exact same reason, because like, right. they've just done it so much, is just roll a die. And mm-hmm. I mean, but it the, works, but. Yeah, but the big thing you have to do when you do this rule, you have to make sure that you say that before people start drawing their land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's probably smart. <laughs> so my, my son, he loves to claim that he beat me more, beats me more than I beat him. And then we found out that the last time we played, he actually let it out that he sorted his cards so he gets a whole bunch of morale at the beginning. And we're like, okay, so another thing we, we asked that everybody do is somebody has to cut your deck. That means mm. if someone splits your deck in half, put that part underneath, or shuffles, either way, so that they know that you're not taking or putting cards on top that you really want to play. Now, mm. a lot of the players, especially at the virtual tournament, they have their specific deck, and it's so um, manipulated, so customized, <laughs> that it's just full of everything. So it doesn't matter what order they get it in. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you want to give everyone the chance enough to, to win. And yeah. so that's another way of, of getting it playing. Yeah. So, yeah, that was your, your yeah. question. So basically how to start and uh how to start a start a game you know i suppose so that's the next, an important one to address yeah so the next time we do a virtual tournament now so everyone knows charlie and i are are very busy this this week uh this uh summer so we're gonna be traveling a lot we're gonna try to fit in some games but it's gonna be off and on it's not gonna be every week like we usually do and so um stay tuned look, watch for the the newsletters and we'll be getting that actually right now if you want the newsletter um for everyone that purchases uh, let's see. Purchase it. I think it's twenty dollars or more. Gets mm-hmm. a deck, a, a small deck of rare cards of American history. So they're rare cards from just America's history that we will put together. We'll send it in the package to you. So everyone that uh, orders in this time will be able to take advantage of that. And we might have different little contests like that or different things like that um, in the future. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay. And then my, my final. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The final question is: I know you put out you put out in your newsletter that you're still deciding the date for the finale of the tournaments this year. Mm-hmm. Do you know when that is? Nope. So like, I'm waiting back for some of uh, some of the people that are in the tournament are actually already on vacation, mm-hmm. and so they're out for I think one more week. Um, so I'm waiting for everyone to get back to me on dates. So I'm sending out an email. Um, 
to tell all the winners. There's actually seven winners and myself. So we're actually going to break into two rooms. Okay. <laughs> okay not, we actually played a game of seven people last night when Josh Ooh. came. And it, it <laughs> but I mean, I was the second one out. And my, oh, my, okay. My son was the uh, the third one out. And then I think at the end, the uh, um, Josh went out. And then it was between uh, the three youth, and including my youngest son, who actually just got into it. Oh, and cool. he, yeah, so it was great to, to see that. But um, yeah, so it will be announced within the week. Hopefully, I just need to get enough of those people. And there is eight people. And if we can't get somebody down, we're, we're basically going to say, sorry, maybe next time. And we're going to yeah. move on. So, but we will try to work it out with everybody so it works out so everyone can be there, all eight of us. Now, this will actually be a, um, uh, a tournament that you can actually have people come to and watch if they want. And I'm not quite sure if it's going to be this tournament, the one that's the, the two groups, or when we break mm -hmm. it into one. So we'll take the two top players and then myself, and we'll all play against each other for the mm -hmm. final. Yeah. And Charlie, you're actually one of the, uh, the top ones, top eight. So Right. Even though yeah. I've only played like, three times in the past two months. Well, yeah, but you played for the final tournament, so. That's true, yeah. So we kept in. Plus, I mean, you've been helping out, so I want you to be part of this, so. Um, so stay tuned for that, and we'll get back yeah. to you as soon as possible. All righty. So then, yeah, I think that's all, that's, that's all for okay. this week. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for joining us, and we yeah. will see you next time. Thanks, Charlie. For yeah. On. yeah, no problem. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow actually. Take care, bye.